Haney versus Regis Progray, but uh, let's give a quick preview here. I know the fans want to hear what you have to think about this in summary from what we what we broke down on the fight plan, but uh, what are you looking for in this fight from each guy? I like Haney. I like Haney. I like both fighters. And Progray's, I've talked to him before, tried, you know, asked me for some thoughts before his title fight, his second title fight that he won that puts him in a special esteem class with a Winning two titles, not just one. And I talked to him and gave my thoughts of how that fight would go and, you know, kind of my own idea of a fight plan for him. He went out there, he did his thing, he executed, he won the title. His last fight, he didn't look good. I don't know. If, uh, I think the style of the fighter that he was in there, Pro Grace, his life had a lot to do with it. Very difficult style. A guy that controls the outside. A guy that doesn't take any chances at all, uh, makes you take all the chances, puts the burden on you. Very difficult guy. Guy that's always defensive conscious. Uh, so he didn't look good. I don't know if it's because he's getting old or it was just his style. I don't think it's because he's getting old. But I like Haney to win. Prograde's the bigger guy. Haney's moving up to his weight. Where I think it's going to play out is Haney does his thing. His thing is to control the outside. Now, I will give you this. In his last fight with Lomachenko, he made a change. He bent his knees. He sat down more. He looked like he wanted to be more of a power puncher. Uh, control and range. Again, maybe like Ryan Garcia needs to do at some point. But control and range, not, not necessarily giving up his height or his reach, but control and range on the outside where he also could be very productive with power and with putting punches together. Haney's a sharpshooter. Nice, clean punches. Really, really the guy that reminds you of why the the word sweet science was first applied to boxing. He he does it like a science. I think where he has the advantage for Prograce, Prograce has the burden of coming to him. And sometimes he moves his head. He does a good job of moving his head, Prograce. Where he doesn't do a good job is keeping his hands up. But he knows what he's doing because he, he's not always going to lead. He's going to look to counter so he can get away with keeping his hands down. I see Progress sometimes moves his head from too far away. And when you move your head from a little too, you should be close enough to draw the punch where you can make a miss and you can touch him. You can hit him. When you move your head from too far away, Ken, what happens is you kind of, you're exposing what you're doing to the guy at a distance where you're not dangerous because you're too far away to make him pay for missing and you're allowing him to see what you're doing and have a chance to time you before he gets close enough to hurt you, to actually deliver something. When he does move his head from too far away, I see Haney pot-shotting him. Control range, pot shot and bop, 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 and then step it out again, step it to the side, try to fight that kind of fight. It's going to come down to can Progres put enough pressure on him to break him down to a certain extent to get him to trade with him in a geography that is is better for Progres and not good for Haney instead of on the outside where he does have the edge to counter him coming in. Uh, I also think Prograce is going to have to really, really go to the body. He, he's going to have to put in some work to the body, slow down the legs of Haney a little bit, hope to get to him late in the fight. I think Haney's going to be ahead early in the fight. And then it's going to be, if we're going to have a real fight, then we're going to see Prograce go to the body, starting to get a little closer, and starting to maybe slow down Haney. If we don't see that, if Haney can just control the geography, you know, as he likes to, then then it's going to be a whitewash for Haney. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm taking Haney to win a well, decision. Let me ask you, let me ask you this. Um, for our friends at MyBookie, go to MyBookie.ag and use the promo code ATLAS if you're going to bet on the fight. They'll give you a 50% credit on your first deposit up to $1,000 mybookie.ag the line is plus 300 on regis minus 450 on devin haney you like haney enough to lay 450 i i don't know that i want to lay that kind of wood because pro grace haney 
Hedy's got a good chin. They both do. But they've both been, you know, shown that they can be hurt in the chin, which some people, to a certain point in their career, don't even show that. Even though you know that anyone gets caught right, uh, they can be hurt. We we understand, I understand that. But there's been times where a lot of people question the, the, the whiskers, if you will, on Haney, that he's, you know, that he, you could get his attention there a little bit. Pro Gray's is a bigger guy. Pro Gray's, there's always a chance if he can land, maybe he can hurt him and he can win that way, obviously. Uh, Haney's thinking he can hurt. I'm sure he's thinking he can hurt Pro Gray's, who I think got dropped in his last fight against a guy who's not a big puncher, but it's one of those things where I don't remember exactly what happened, but he got caught just right. It might have been a flash sort of thing, whatever. I'm sure that gives confidence to Haney that, hey, I got her. That confidence could hurt him because that could make him fight Pro Grace's fight in close enough quarters where Pro Grace does have the one chance really to upset the apple cart, to be close enough to land big and hurt him. I'm not, I'm not laying that. I, I'm not going to lay that because of what I just laid out there. But I do like Haney to win. Not enough to lay almost $500, $400. But what is the over-under? Minus 600 on the over, plus 325 on the under. Okay, here's where I'm going to give you value on a play, hopefully. Uh, I, I like Haney. You want to go? You got that extra money? Go ahead. But I don't want to lay that much. So I... I Although I can understand why the bookmakers made it where it's prohibitive to bet the over because everyone thinks it's going to go over. I, I understand that. I'm going to take a small play on the under. I'm going to take a small play on the under. That if Haney's really on, I got both sides giving me a chance in my mind to make an argument for the under where I'm getting back a lot of money. That, one is if Haney's on that night, he could really he could really be a sharpshooter, a surgeon with Pro Grays coming in from too far away and maybe get something done to get out to the showers early. Maybe. Not as likely because obviously the lines tell you it's not as likely. They want they're telling you it's gonna be over. But on the other side of why I could take a little play on the under is what I said already. If Pro Grace is going to win, I think he has to hurt him. I don't think he's necessarily going to win a decision. I think he's going to have to hurt him. I think he's going to have to get close enough as the bigger man to land a bigger punch on a man who's naturally smaller. And that both of those reasons give me enough of a reason to take a shot on the under and hope that, you know, I could get a little extra in my Christmas stocking because, you know, they're, they're not offering coal over there. They're, they're offering uh, some nice dollars. Over in Haney, you can get even money on the uh, Why didn't you parlay? tell me that earlier? Good. I like that play. <laughs> that's a parlay. I like that yep. play. I will go. That's yep. my play. I'll still put a little on the under, hoping that, you know, my stocking gets really filled um, yeah. with, with extra stuff. But I like that play. I'm going to take the over and Haney at even money. I'm, I'm taking that all day. I love that. Why did you wait till the last second to I, tell me that? <laughs> I was looking it up. I'm looking on my feet. I didn't even have the over under. And Rob must have got his updated. So he's telling me on the te- on the chat that it's even money. I'm trying to look. My my up, my up My bookie feet I'm wasn't updated. I'm glad you saw it. I'm so glad we didn't get <laughs> we off the air. Done. I'm so <laughs> glad we didn't get off the air without seeing that. I like, I, I still take a little play against myself for that extra money, just a very small play, but I'm going to go for the under, but I'm going to go with uh, Paul A. I love it almost as much as I love your haircut. Uh, I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm going to go with the over and Haney winning, uh, you know, Haney winning the fight. <laughs> 